Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Championship Predictions. Um, a few results this previous weekend I was slightly against the odds, you can say. A few results, you know, a lot higher than what I expected. There was a shock or two in that, even for me. Um, a VAR talking point um, in one of these games that's happened, you'll all probably really know who it is anyway. But I'm going to talk to that. I'm going to talk to you about the disappointments with VAR as the Premier League are using it, but I think the EFL will use it ever so differently. Um, but anyway, guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and let's go. So first, let's talk about this VAR. Um, it does look like it's coming into a championship. I know the referees uh, start training with this VAR equipment. Um, I do think it's going to benefit the league. Um, if you're if you are a regular, if you're online, you watch my Premier League and League One and League Two predictions, you wouldn't know that I'm a big fan of VAR. But there is a big but in this um, one. I don't like how the Premier League are using it. Why the Premier League are using it, I've started to question um, the Premier League and the FA on how they're using it. Yes, there are developments coming in, um, how we're going to try to benefit us from it, but we still get to be seen. But um, anyway, guys, enough talk about VAR. Let's get on with the games. So the first game we're going to talk about is Millwall versus Nottingham Forest. Um, Millwall 1-1 one, one away to Birmingham City. Nottingham Forest losing 1-0 at home to Cardiff. That result, um, that Nottingham Forest result, I weren't expecting it. No disrespect to Cardiff, but fair play to Cardiff. Um, but anyway, f uh, fourth place Nottingham Forest will be uh, play Millwall, who's in 13th place. Um, Millwall win, that could be a huge leap up the table. Obviously, it goes on other results as well. Um, but great point for Millwall away from home up at Birmingham. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2 1 Nottingham Forest win. My next one is a bit of a Yorkshire derby it's Huddersfield versus Leeds United. Leagues um, beating Middlesbrough 4-0 at home. Um, very good three points for uh, Leagues. Huddersfield disappointing away day at Bristol City, losing 5-2. Uh, I'm trying to sum up where Leagues is going to finish this season. I mean, they're sitting top of the Championship. Um... No, we're not. It's West Brom, sorry. Um, but, you know, fair play for Leeds. Really giving it a fight. Um, but anyway, great three points against Middlesbrough. Um, this point day for Huddersfield. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 3 0 Leagues win. My next one is Blackburn versus Derby County. Blackburn beating Stoke City 2-1 away from home. Derby 1-1 um, at home against QPR. Um, great three points for Blackburn, you got to say. Um, and then obviously, Derby County 1-1. Good point, I think, um, as it stands. Uh, Derby on 14th at the minute. Um, you know, currently 25 points. It's going to be an interesting game overall. But as far as this result goes, Blackburn versus Derby, I'll go for a 2-1 Blackburn win. My next one is Cardiff versus Barnsley. Don't know why I've done the accent again. Uh, Barnsley beating Hull City 3-1 at home. Great three points for Barnsley. Cardiff beating Nottingham Forest 1-0 away from home. Great three points for Cardiff. This time of the season for Barnsley, um, you know, it could make a break their season. 
bit of a different for Cardiff. Uh, you know, try to get back into the Premier League. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2-1 Cardiff win. My next one is Fulham versus Bristol City. Bristol City beating Huddersfield 5-2 at home. Um, you know, fair play to Bristol City. Fulham beating Swansea 2-1 away from home. I actually remember watching that Fulham game. Um, obviously, very close game it was. Uh, but I think Fulham just edged it overall. Um, but it's going to be another interesting weekend. Um, obviously, Bristol City in fifth, Fulham in third. Both looking for automatic promotion still. Um, but I'll go for a 1 1 scoreline for that one. My next one is Hull City versus Stoke City. Hull City losing 3 1 away to Barnsley. Stoke City uh, losing 2 1 at home to Blackburn. Both clubs going in disappointed um, from the previous weekend, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 3 1 Hull win. My next one is Luton Town versus Wigan. Um, Luton are currently sitting in 21st. Wigan are in 22nd. Um, the likes of Luton and Wigan. Um, Wigan losing 3-1 at home to Reading. Luton losing 7-0 to Brentford away from home. Brentford had a field day. Um, disappointing day, but the way the two teams are going, I can only call this one way. And I'm going to go for a 1 0 Wigan win. My next one is Middlesbrough versus Charlton. Um, Middlesbrough losing 4 0 away to Leagues. Charlton losing 3 1 at home to Sheffield Wednesday. Both teams going in disappointed by can only call this game one way and I'm going to go for a 2 0 Charlton win. My next one is Queen's Park Rangers versus Preston North End. Queen's Park Rangers 1 1 away to Derby. Um, great point for QPR, I personally think. Preston North End losing 1 0 at home to. Um, West Bromwich Albion. That game should have been a draw, and I'll talk more about that when I get down to the West Brom game. Um, but as far as this one goes, I think Preston needs to get back on one away, which one will I go for? A 2 1 Preston win. My next one is Reading versus Birmingham. Reading beating Wigan 3 1 away from home. Birmingham 1-1 one, one at home to Millwall. Um, so this is a bit of a mismatch, you could say. Um, like splitting the two clubs apart. Um, you know, you've got Breddin, who is slowly climbing up the table. Um, whereas you've got Birmingham roughly doing the same thing. I can't see them getting promoted this season. Still a long way to go, though. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Sheffield Wednesday versus Brentford. Brentford uh, beating Luton Town at home 7 0. I'm sorry, Luton Town fans, that's not a misprint. Um, Sheffield Wednesday beating Charlton Athletic 3 1 away from home. Um, Brentford's got to go in slightly more confident this weekend, obviously, with that big result. But then there's also that thing where you come crashing back down to earth. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2 0 Sheffield Wednesday win. Um, my last one for this weekend is West Bromwich Albion versus Swansea City. 
Um, West Bromwich Albion beat and Preston North End one 0 away from home. Um, Swansea City losing two one at home to Fulham. Right, let's going to talk about. You heard at the top of this video about me talking about VAR and what I don't like about it in the English game, but I'm a big fan of it still. You know, I do have to say that. Um, if the EFL use it correctly, I think it'll be a big benefit in the championship. If they don't, I can see only going one way as well, and that's downhill. Um, but West Brom's penalty, I've seen it. Um, I've, I've got to say, I think it's a dive. Something that EFL, um, not EFL, um, VAL would have overturned, I think. But it's going to all depend on how the EFL use it. But as far as this result goes, it is second versus eight. I'll go for a 2-1 West Bromwich Albion win. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. You've said a big fan fun. Hope you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.